good morning. We are driving up the somewhat rough and rocky road up to the upper trailhead for Culebra Peak. This is the one you gotta get a permit for, 150 bucks, kinda steep. Well, <clears throat> we are at the upper trailhead. It's pretty rocky. I'm sort of worried about my car is right on a rock here. Probably not ideal. Um, met a guy, San Francisco, Kyle, and uh, several Colorado people, but most people already started hiking. Someone's waiting for someone they don't even know to pace them, I guess. Someone going for a record. But basically we're going straight up. See that sunny slope? We're just going straight up this hill to there, and then the summit, you can't see it, it's beyond. You gotta go higher up on the ridge. But basically, there's no trail for this hike. And I'm in a, I'm in a t-shirt. Um, hopefully that's not a bad move. But we gotta cross the creek, and then we just walk straight up this hillside. There are people already pretty far up, because I've sat in there warming up for 30 minutes. Um, so yeah, we're gonna follow Kyle and uh, head straight up. I can already tell I'm going to be sucking wind. It's the first one. It's okay. So I popped, popped up on this little rib. Now headed straight up. Well, it's actually already warm in the sun. So you can see one two two people near the top two more there there's the sun everyone's taking off their jackets now all right <sighs> well, we're getting closer to gain the ridge i think this is steep <sighs> well false ridge it keeps going much higher thought that was too good to be true so we still have a good I don't know 500 up to the ridge there this is like the never-ending hillside just keep going up and up and up here's your view though Ah, so pretty. Ah, well, we've done it. Here's the mega cairn on the ridge. Ah, terrain's getting easier. Well, there's the view of your summit. Someone's already up there. So someone was hammering. I mean, I didn't start till almost seven, but hey. Hey man, so now we gotta drop a little bit to a saddle and then just cruise up this ridge. So, and then Red Mountain will be over there too. Awesome. We'll have to go through a little boulder, boulder section there. But uh, now we're almost down to the saddle here. You know, not too big of a descent. Maybe 150 feet or something. And now we just got to uh, climb the ridge up there. Well, there was our ridge and our cairn. We just put in a good, I don't know, maybe 300 feet. So we're working. <sighs> this is straight across. Summit's up there. <sighs> I forgot to point out, there's Red Mountain. So I'll be doing that next. That'll add a mile each way or so with, uh, I don't know, another thousand feet of vert maybe. 
Ah. Shouldn't be too bad though. I think it's just cloth too. Ah. Well, we've reached the last notch, I think, before the uh, nice little gully here. Now we gotta climb up to the false summit here. <sighs> Alright, so I think that was the full summit, and that's the summit. But I could be wrong. Could be another full summit. Well, completely wrong. This is the false summit that is referred to. And there is your true summit. I knew that was too good to be true. So, we still got, I don't know, half mile to get over there, I think. The terrain is easing. There's big boulders. All right, Labor Peak, number 47 for me. Yeah. Uh, made that in an hour 25. Not bad. Now I just gotta go down there. Some with that guy. Whew. So you're seeing. Uh, I think you're seeing Blanca and Ellingwood on the left and Lindsay on the right and then the Crestones beyond far right. Beautiful up here. Look at that valley down there. So we're working our way off. Culebra, it is uh, basically just a big talus boulder slope. And some of them move, but I'm almost down the hardest part, I think. Not that it's hard. All right, well, come down. There's some people on the summit, as expected. And now we're uh, almost down to the low point here. Between Culebra and Red Mountain. <sighs> well, we're working our way up Red Mountain. There's a path. Unfortunately, it's all loose makes it tougher but adventure we only have maybe 200 feet left so not a ton I'll be up there in like 10 minutes or less I think ah. all right Red Mountain. Just over 13,900 feet. It might be my first official 13er. Yeah. All right. Another peek in the books. There's people up there. And Culebra, that's where we gotta go. We're just over two hours. Two hours, two minutes. So I'm happy with that. We'll make it down in like an hour and a half. Because I got more hiking to do today. I'm gonna go to the Great Sand Dunes National Park. So, yeah, it's a good warm up though. So I'll take a picture and then head out of here. Well, 
we started the climb. Now we gotta go up there. I think we're making good progress and good time. It's about to get rockier though. Yeah. Probably 10 minutes up to Calibra, I would think. But honestly, it might not be too bad. He's gonna, he's gonna nerd out ultra hard. <laughs> he always talks about Wait, so is he doing, is he the one doing all of the record? Yeah, that's the record. Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> so it's just the total span of time that you're doing it? Huh. Yeah, okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I wanted to get you guys, I have a hiking YouTube channel, so I think it's so impressive what you're doing. Oh, oh, cool. Everything. Okay. I'm finishing the 14ers this next week, so. Oh, nice. Not doing them all in one string, though. Cool. You should send us a message. Yeah. Afterward, we can talk to you. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well. that'd be great. I'll tell you all a ridiculous story. Uh, I'm meeting a guy who lives in Denver who's done a lot of these mountains. So that, that'll make me feel better not to be alone on some of the traverses. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, he's done them before. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's like, like the Bell's Traverse, if you know where to go, it's really so fun. I mean, I like that sort of stuff. I do a lot of that type of stuff, so I'm not too worried even if I was alone, but. I recently got into the trail ultra scene, so. My, I don't have my 14er lungs yet, but in general, my fitness is pretty good. Oh, guys, you'll have them by the, yeah. by the next couple of days, you know? Yeah. yeah. These two are trying to do all the 14ers in less than nine total days. Well, no, actually, no, less than 10. that was less than 10. Plan. Then we realized that's impossible for us. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, less than Call, nine Call, is yeah. impossible. Yeah. But we can try to aim for less than ten. Yeah. 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 Just heading back on the ridge. We still got to drop and regain over there. I'm uh, I'm sticking with those guys to, I don't know, kind of pace them. I guess I don't know. They don't need pacing downhill. But uh, they're communicating with all sorts of support crew and they're going to Little Bear Blanca, Ellingwood next. But they're getting, somehow they're getting some some vehicle or helicopter up to uh, Lake Como to save the uh, road walking. I don't know what the rules are with that, like where you're allowed to start. I guess as high up as a road goes, if that's the rule. I was thinking when I was going up this, I was like, wait, well, you can cruise down this and run down this thing. Especially if you like sort of zigzag and pick the right line. Because you're on like nice dirt the whole time mostly. Yeah. It was a little steep coming up this hill going straight up, but I didn't shortcut it. Maybe I should have cut it off. Yeah, now I was, I... Like I said, the first day up at 14, I feel like I'm sucking wind. Yeah. 21 years of that. Damn. I mean, I have zero days, but I, for my entire life, I've been doing something five, six days a week. Right, right. Yeah. So. And I, th I mean, that's fine. Yeah. You, know, you need recovery days. A lot of my days when I really need it. Yeah. I mean, I do a lot of light. I mean, I'll just go lift weights and I'll walk five miles. I'll walk to and from the gym or something. But I always like to be on my feet for at least five miles a day, even if it's just walking. Yeah. yeah I wish you lived around us. You could help me figure out my my weight training plans and stuff. Yeah. You know, it's like I kind of wander around aimlessly. So, yeah. I mean, I'll gladly try to set something up for you. Oh yeah. I mean, that's not. I'm a structural engineer, so I'm not in that. I'm not a personal trainer or anything. But I've been lifting my whole life and gotten into anatomy and. You know, it obviously depends sort of what you're going for, but All right, we're back to the car Let's see if that was Yeah, under under four hours about 353 so that's good That was it, Culebra and Red Mountain Hey man, 